Upshot. And I'm Bill Harris. Flint City Council has started what they say is a quest for truth. Tonight, they held a hearing to investigate whether or not city money and city time was used to help Patsy Lou Williamson's state senate campaign. Testimony from one city employee in particular, if it's true, paints a very disturbing picture. ABC 12's Kristen Abraham live at City Hall in Flint with the details of tonight's meeting. Kristen? Bill Anthony Cole says after his testimony, he's going to have to watch his back because he told the truth. He says he and others worked on city time and with city resources to help clean up a park for Patsy Lou Williamson's picnic, campaign picnic last July. Anthony Cole has worked for the city of Flint Parks and Rec for over a year. Tonight he put his job on the line when testifying at the city council's hearing to determine if city employees and resources were used to aid the mayor's wife's state senate campaign on city time. Cole says the Parks and Rec director, Bob Cook, told him to do so. The tables came from the central shop on Boulevard Drive and the chairs came from the Pierce Center picked up by city employees with city equipment and dropped off by city employees with city equipment. City council members asked Cole if he signed a document asking employees to say they did not work on the campaign so they could receive their checks on time. Cole says he felt uncomfortable signing it. And I do have another attorney and he is aware of this and he said in his opinion if any repercussions were to happen, this could be deemed as blackmail or extortion. Questions were also fired at Mayor Don Williamson concerning the allegations. He says he did not ask any employee to clean up the park, nor was he aware that any other department head had asked employees to work for his wife's campaign on city time. I know of no city employee that worked in my wife's campaign or any other campaign and got paid for it how they were doing that by the city of Flint. I've seen a lot of ridiculous things in my life, but this has got to go to the top of the mountain. We're, we are told that the meeting is still going on. They are finishing up with city employees. As many as 17 people could be called to testify at these special hearings. The meetings will continue next week. Live in Flint, Kristen Abraham, ABC 12 News. Kristen, thank you. Dozens of